Good afternoon, Pastor David. Hi, John. Welcome, everybody, to a random moment with Pastor David unfiltered. And tomorrow's Christmas Eve, mm -hmm. and it's uh, an exciting time of the year. Uh, we have Christmas Eve service tomorrow at 7 p.m., and then Christmas morning at 9 a.m. I want you guys to invite your friends and family to come on out. But you know, Pastor, in, in this time where we celebrate the birth of Christ and it's festive and it's a time of giving, it's a it's it's an amazing time. But there are those who I know and you know firsthand that has had a very, very difficult time, whether it's a loss of a loved one, a loss of a job, a loss of health. And during this time, as it can be a time that it's very difficult for a lot of people, how as a pastor would you encourage those who are going through a difficult time during this season, what encouragement would you be able to bring? Well, I think that sometimes the season is a um, is a synthetic emotion anyway. Mm -hmm. um, I, I happen to, unfortunately for some and fortunately for others, be a, a guy that doesn't put a whole lot of, uh, of emphasis on Christmas. I mean, I can go without a Christmas tree very easily in my own home. I, I, I don't have a, a wish list, you know, and things of that nature. So for me, uh, Christmas has never really for many, many years been a significant day simply because it's a day that's kind of open to dispute in terms of is it an actual date versus is it a mythological date and not in the sense of the birth of Christ but in the selection of the date seeing that they the uh, church borrowed the date from the uh, pagan Romans and Saturnalia and all of that and so it's not that I'm opposed to it I'm not it's just that I have never never seen for the longest time Christmas as being that much of a of a big quote unquote deal in my life on a personal level and I'm not negating the value of it or all the goodness of it I'm not I'm simply saying from an emotional level it's never held that much significance to me Easter does because I know that Christ was raised on Easter's Easter Sunday Easter does because that's a date I, I, I know and I can celebrate with certainty. So because of that, uh, I'm, I'm not really the best person when it comes to saying, how can I help people who, um, or have a word of encouragement for people who may be going through a, a downtime simply because um, the atmosphere that we have is artificial anyway. You know, the emphasis is on man-made traditions all you need to do is watch TV or even see some movies that are based on a Christmas theme. And there's never the center of the birth of Christ other than a mention. And so I think a lot of the, um, the celebrations that are associated with Christmas are not much different than celebrate, celebrating somebody else's birthday or whatever. You know, you have a party, you eat, you have friends over and all of that. So what would my advice be? Well, I, I would suppose that if I were to say I had advice to give to anybody, focus on the actual reality of the birth of Christ, focus on what that means, focus on the fact that we're just pilgrims passing through and that the, um, the real destination and where we set our attention, our eyes, our hope and our faith on is, is is still yet to come and so take the opportunity of giving it to spend time with friends to spend time with family don't worry about the gifts that come and take more pleasure in the gifts you can give and uh, enjoy the time that you might have if you should be able to or choose to spend time with friends and family if you don't have a group of people friends and family and you feel alone Use that time to relax in the Lord and to, and to celebrate in your own heart the things that he, he means to you and, um, and uh, move on to the next day. Right. Because there, you know, I, I, just, don't, I just don't see the, the um, importance of stressing over what I didn't get or who I'm not with. I just don't see that. And someone says, well, that's, that's easy for you to say because you're a person surrounded 
by uh, numbers of people, staff members. I have a growing and a good sized family. It's easy for you to say, Pastor David, because you don't you don't suffer loneliness. And I would say that that's uh, anybody who says that doesn't know what a pastor goes through. Because I often have said, when it comes to simply a sense of being alone, that the senior pastor in the average church is probably the loneliest, loneliest guy in the church when it comes to that. Because very few people, if any, who are not in the ministry and are not full-time pastors would understand what we feel, you know? And so I've learned to, to take value in the things that matter to me and matter to those who know me and uh, my family and all and and I just I'm not that guy that you can buy a gift for I'm I'm, I'm just not my my wife knows that about me I, I I don't put that much stock on gifts you know if I get one bless the Lord I, I thank you I don't I, just, I I'm okay with that see so my ideas of Christmas when it comes to how do I encourage somebody who's going through a hard time they're not they're not the average ideas John because that holiday season has not taken the place of my daily walk with Christ. Mm -hmm. So I enjoy his presence every day. I enjoy his presence on, on Christmas as well as the month before it, you know. And so I would say take each day at a time. Enjoy each day as it's given to you. When given opportunity to spend time with friends, family, church members, be in a church service take advantage of those things um enjoy enjoy giving it's more blessed to give than to receive so begin to learn to say i just want to see your smile when i give you something because that gives me greater pleasure than when i receive something those are things you learn and and those things are actually after uh now a growing longer life that i have experienced i do have a greater joy when i am able to give something that one of my kids or one of my grandbabies really wanted. And, and that that makes me happy to be able to see them go, oh, I'm happy to receive this. And so it's not wrong to rejoice at being given a gift. It's not wrong to have joy in those things. I think that's, that's part of the season and all of that. But I just don't place that much value on that by itself. I, 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 I'm getting a much, what's the word, more of a long-term view of life, I'm I'm closer to heaven's gates now than I've ever been, and uh, so I'm I'm more preparing for the eternal gifts, uh, rewards, if you will, than I am for the Christmas gifts. Amen. And that's a great sight to keep our eyes on. That's what I do. And a, a lot of times people can get busy with the hustle and bustle of the Christmas season, yeah. and that can you know can can be in itself a difficult thing but to keep our eyes on Jesus. You know, and if there are someone out there who may be feeling that they are alone, we have Christmas Eve service coming yes. up. Mm -hmm. We have Christmas morning service. Yes. Then the day after that, we have Sunday morning. That's right. And then the following Wednesday. Right. Then and the following they, years. Exactly. You know what? <laughs> there are things that they can participate in if they're able. Um, several days a week here, you know. Monday we have a young adults kind of stu uh, study. We have women and men studies. We have a Tuesday morning men's study. We have a Wednesday study. We have for those who are dealing with uh, with alcohol or drug dependency or obsessive behaviors. We have our Lion Tamer mi Ministries on Tuesdays and Fridays. Yes. We have such a variety of things that people, if they want to and they have the ability to and emotionally are strong enough to, sometimes they're going through hard times. Now there are various things that if they take advantage of that, that they're going to discover that they may just have a friend waiting to meet them. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, amen to that. Mm -hmm. So family, invite your uh, friends and family to come join us. And again, we do have our Christmas Eve service at 7 p.m. Uh, tomorrow, uh, yeah. Friday, tomorrow night. and tomorrow evening, and then Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow night's going to be amazing. It's going to be a time of worship. Yeah, it's gonna be great. We're going to hear a Bible study. And so I'm looking forward to it, and uh, and if you know those who are out there who may be going through a difficult time, I would encourage you to come join us and and just hear from the Lord and Amen. And, and hear from Him and receive and sing from Him. Songs, yes, and and enjoy Jesus. So thank you, friend, Pastor David. Thank you so much. Amen. Uh, Merry Christmas, church family. Merry Christmas. Uh, we'll see you uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow. God bless you.